Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about something fun. Yay! Thank the Lord, because I'm so tired of talking about everything else. We're gonna talk about Nintendo saying that they are 100% focused on fun. What a concept. What a concept. And you know what? They're being rewarded Wait, for it. They're not just totally focused on activism? No. They're not focused on, focused on canceling people? No. No, they just want to make good Mario games. And, and have fun. And have fun. Wow. How progressive of them in 2021. I know, right? And, and because of that, they're being rewarded financially. Uh, analysts are saying Nintendo has practically eradicated the PlayStation brand from right. Japan. Well, you know what? We've been giving them a lot of money lately. We pre-ordered Pokemon Snap. How many economy switches do we have? We How have many? four switches. And, we, and there's Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing for each one. For, well, there's three, because there's three copies, because you and I share one. Yeah. And and um, we just bought a bunch of games for Mama Sparkles. We have Harvest Moon coming. And we have we pre-orders. I mean, I think every game we've pre-ordered the coming has been um, Nintendo. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got a pile of games for Christmas. Yeah, I love the Switch. I think the Switch is quickly becoming my, my favorite console of all time because it plays literally everything. And the original games are very fun. And uh, they don't seem to get as political as, oh, I see Geeky's doing her best. Uh, see, I can do that. Yeah, she's 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 uh, uh, trying to mimic this girl right here. But yeah, PlayStation, Sony's been very woke lately. Basically, Sony's been doing a lot of, uh, you know, giving a lot of political messaging. They've been censoring games. They've been, and Nintendo's just like. And people are like, blah, 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 don't care. Yeah, pretty much. You're like, yeah, we just want fun. Nintendo, remember the Space Buns controversy over Animal Crossing? They basically said it was meant for everyone. We don't uh, care. Just as long as you're not doing it in a derogatory sense, we don't care. Go have fun with your game. That's all we want is for you to have fun. Stop and, trying to please everybody else's fun. Yeah, and they're being rewarded for it, especially in Japan. Japanese gamers are turning on PlayStation. It's gotten so bad over there, they shut down Japan Studio. Uh, it's the Japanese uh, are not... Uh, you know, taking the PlayStation. Anymore. I've got a new slogan for Twitter. Hmm. Twitter policing the fun since 2016. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So this article, this is uh, from a day ago. This is on Game Rant. Nintendo present says the focus for Nintendo technology is fun. What a concept! What a novel idea. Yeah, the president says the company's focus when it comes to researching new technology is fun. Now they they don't usually do the most. Uh, advanced machines. A lot of people are like, why aren't you making a PlayStation 5 caliber machine? And the thing looks, the PlayStation 5 is big and it it looks like uh, an air purifier. It does. Not a game console. Whereas a Switch, yeah, it's not very beefy, but it's portable, it's light, anybody can get into it. And really at the end of the day, all that matters are, you know, are the games any good? Mm -hmm. You know, are the games any good? People will play a system with lesser graphics if the, the, the games are good. Look at the Wii. The Wii did really well, too. Same thing. Games were fun. Games were accessible. People played them. So president of Nintendo, Shantaro Furukawa, interviewed uh, with Nikkei to talk about the company and what some of his goals were moving forward. Among the talking points, one of the more interesting things was that they revealed uh, it was the idea whenever Nintendo looks into researching new technology, the main focus is around the idea that it needs to be fun. Why is why is this one of the more interesting ideas? This is kind of, I thought was always the idea or it should be always be the idea. No, anything. it's not. I mean, this is so refreshing. Groundbreaking. <laughs> Groundbreaking. The video game company just wants to make fun games. They want to make uh, technology oh that's fun. For Nintendo, it's important to look at the rest of the technology as advancements because yeah, their machines are usually a generation behind. I mean, they are. But they focus instead on making the games more entertaining. Yes, Nintendo likes to think outside the box. When making something, uh, they said Nintendo looks to always focus on the starting point of fun. This becomes obvious when looking back on previous consoles, whether it's touchscreen and dual screen on the DS, the motion controls of the Wii, uh, 3D gaming on the 3DS, or the revolution behind hybrid gaming on the Switch. Nintendo's technology is always fun. Not just the technology, but the games. When you think about the most iconic games, a lot of them are Nintendo ones. Yeah. Yeah, and what, what this is about, uh, they're having interviews now because they have the playing with power um, yes, which we got to watch this. Docu-series. Yeah, I want to see this. It debuted uh, Monday? That's Monday, today. yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> so, <laughs> is today Monday? Yeah, today's Monday. Uh, it's an extended but incomplete look at what makes the company a unique enigma. No, it's not an enigma. They basically are just like, what's the most fun game we can make? And that is it. We make a fun game. We make a fun gaming system. 
We make good games that stand the test of time. We don't get overly political. Mm -hmm. We do our research and we give gamers what they want, usually. Mm -hmm. uh, why is this, why is this shocking? Hard. And we're successful and we're, we're, we're taking the top spot again. People didn't think that Nintendo would be able to, to come back the way that they have, but the Switch has been a freaking runaway success. You know, yeah, we have how many? So we have four second. of the damn four things. In just different, in different, you know, we have two of the basic systems and two of the handhelds. Yeah, we have two lights. two lights and two regulars. And yeah, and there's a reason because one's for the studio, one's for the house, one, and then, you know, I have a, well, it was actually yours, but I stole it. It's okay. The light and uh, Pinky has the light. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and they're great little machines. Um, they play every, I like it because I can go back and I can play all my retro games on them plus newer games. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the games I have, I'd say three quarters of the games I have are, are retro games, but I love it because they're all in one place on a very yeah. compact little machine. And, and the know? whole idea, to me though, the whole idea that they're like, oh my gosh, what a concept, making games for fun. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, I can't believe that this is controversial. That this it's is like, it's what, like one of those face palm moments, you know, it's like slap your forehead, like, are you serious right now? Yeah. I mean, who's making money? You make money when you make things people want to buy. No, Yo. you don't say. <laughs> we've we've talked about the decline of PlayStation in Japan, and there's there's no way to get around it. The, every PlayStation console has performed worse than the last, and the PS5 is is kind of a dud. They've shut down Japan Studio, and an analyst in Japan said that uh, he thinks Nintendo has eradicated the PlayStation. Um, even though the PS5 and the Xbox Series X have been on the market for less than three months, in many ways the Switch continues yeah. to dominate. I don't. I mean, they might dominate, but I don't. I don't. I would say I wouldn't say eradicate. I, I don't believe that. No, I that might be with, a little. I don't agree with that wording, but but it, it's clear that Nintendo is giving gamers, at least in Japan, you know, something that that PlayStation and Xbox are not. I think it all depends on a lot of things. I think it depends on what kind of games the person wants to play. Like, of course, I'm going to play more of the Switch games because they're more like what I would play. Or like Squid King is going to play more of the PS5 games because they're more, well, he likes them both. Mm -hmm. But they're like, you know, more kind of games that he would like to play. You know, you, you, I think it's just more like one kind of panders a certain, they just pander both the certain types of audiences, I think. The PS5 is essentially going to be a Western game console. At this, this point, point, yes. Yeah, and, and they're going to be, you know, AAA titles, probably... A healthy, uh, a healthy uh, serving of, of wokeness. Activism, yep. Yeah, yep, wokeness. Uh, everything that goes with it because they're being developed in California. Uh, meanwhile, in Japan, 99% of the games, the game sales in Japan for the week ending of January 30th were Switch games. My, 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 my sister was talking to me yesterday about how she was, they were excited about the Harry Potter game. And I was like, I had to tell her about how they're trying to cancel that and all the drama around that one. <laughs> I had to try to explain yeah. it to her. God, th that's the thing. Like, like, you know, Nintendo so far has kept itself out of getting overly political. They're, at the end of the day, they're like, we want to make fun games for everybody. It's not our job to lecture people. We want everybody to buy our games and have fun. Plus, their politics are not necessarily our politics, which people don't seem to understand that. You, you do know that America doesn't represent everyone, right? You, you get that, right? Yeah. We have to be more inclusive and accepting and diverse as we tell every other country what they should and shouldn't think because it's all based on American politics. I, I think this is funny. They said around the PS5's launch, it was reported that Sony had decided to focus less attention on Japan during the new generation. Sony said that's not the case, but then they, right after that, they shut down yep. Japan Studio. That's exactly the case. They shut down Japan Studio. Most of the games are probably going to be Western developed games at this point. It, yeah. The Switch made up for 87% of all consoles sold in Japan last year. They're that's a it. lot in Japan. But I mean, the U.S. Yeah. might be different, but in Japan. It's, yeah, the U.S., it's killing it too. Switches, you, I remember during... You couldn't get them. The start of the pandemic, you could not get switches. You could get lights, but even the lights were hard to come. They out. were hard to get. It wasn't until I, I got. I know um, we tried to buy my mom a, a switch, and we were going to get her the, the regular system, and we could only get her a light. Um, and I know come like October, they were still selling like for a whole bunch of money on on the internet because you couldn't find them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, people love this thing, and and. Um, they're not in any hurry, I guess, for a Switch Pro. They're talking about a Switch Pro, but they're like, well, if it ain't broke, you know, people are playing the games and they don't have to be. Spend the money on making better uh, better games and more games. Imagine that. You know. Better yeah. games. Better games. So, 
yeah, just an interesting, uh, an interesting uh, juxtaposition there to, to look at Nintendo versus Sony. Nintendo giving gamers what they want, focusing on fun, uh, staying out of politics, and we know what Sony's up to. Going the opposite, one is vastly outperforming the other. Just saying, could be yeah. a total coincidence. Yeah, just it just happens to be coinkiting. That's all. It I mean, it's just it's, a, it's just you know. Happens to be a coincidence. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.